hey guys and welcome back on today's video i'm doing an unboxing and install of a love me hair wig that i purchased of course it came in this box um i have a previous video doing love me hair i have clearly worn it before i love this hair like i love these wigs so again i'm going to unbox in the box came this and i took it out already but it came this flat iron it's a flat iron on curler inside the box you get what do they send us this time you're gonna get wig caps and you get a little bag that says love me here in the bag it contains an adjustable strap in case you want to sew this on to the wig bobby pins a tail comb, a love me clip, and um, ooh, what's this? Oh, tweezers, and a satin wig cap, a satin wrap for your front, and of course your wig. Now, of course, you also get the wig that comes in this purple mesh bag that says "Love Me," and it's care instructions in there as well. So this is the 180 density wig that I got and I actually got straight and I think I got this in 16 inches. I'm going to put all the, that information in the back in the com, in the description box below. Yeah, this is definitely 16 inches and this is how it comes. So uh, this is their glueless wig. So it has a strap inside. It also has one, two three combs in the front one comb in the back and of course you get your um adjustable straps this is a basically a lace front what well, this is probably i guess this just says lace front this is how the front of it is so you don't have like a large amount a parting space but it's enough this is their transparent lace and already like I love love me hair the hair is just so soft and so beautiful right it doesn't smell there's no shedding so I'm going to pop this on. So if you're interested to see how I put this unit on and my final review and on, of the unboxing and, and everything, then just stay tuned. For my next wig, I'm not sure which one to get to do a review on. So if you guys wouldn't mind helping me out, I would greatly appreciate it. It's either going to be the new headband wig that RPG show. I'm sorry, not RPG. My first wig company. And I think I seen Eunice had one, the headband wig, which I think is really cute and really like versatile, a versatile everyday work wig. Or it's going to be a color wig. So if you guys let me know which one you want to see in the comments below. I would greatly appreciate it. As always, I ask that you like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any comments, please comment. I do respond pretty, as soon as I get them pretty much. So I'm going to pop this off, put on my wig cap. And I did braid my hair straight back last night. So, put that over there. And I'm not going to use that um, wig cap that they provided. I'm going to use this one because it's closer to my skin tone. I'm going to adjust the straps in the back to the smallest because I do have... A small head. Big brain, but small head. And we're going to pop her on. So I am using the adjustable band. Oh, well, that didn't go very well. Oh, 
just pull her forward. So straight out the pack, this is how it looks. This wig is a good fit. Like it feels really good on my head. So that's a plus. Just brush it a little bit. So this is what we're working with. I'm going to try and keep my mirror out of um, the shot, but I need it. Okay, so. And again, this is 180 density. Let me go ahead and plug this up so it can start getting hot so we can test that too because I'm going to have to straighten it. Okay, this goes up to 200 degrees. So I may have to pull out my... Um, flat iron because I don't know if 200 degrees is going to work. Okay. So the hairline on this is supposed to be pre-plucked. Um, maybe I need to pull it down a little bit. It doesn't look pre-plucked. It does. It does. There it is a little bit. It is a little pre-plucked. And if I was wearing this, like going to, um, melt this lace down then i would definitely go in and customize this a little bit more but because this is going to be an everyday wig like your girl's not doing that so i'm going to take this off i'm going to cut the lace off come back and we're, well i'm gonna keep you while i do it of course but i'm gonna cut the lace off of here the ear tab section you know so this is the elastic band and this is and this is the around the ear section so it's really no cutting oh this is pre-plucked i'm sorry love me i played y'all is that a better view let me see if that's a better view for y'all this is pre-plucked but yeah i'm sorry the ear tab section is kind of where you can't really go around your ear so because of the placement of the elastic band so i don't know how that is gonna work i really don't but let me go ahead and cut this lace I have scissors somewhere you know what i think i'm gonna put it on and cut the lace i think that's the best thing to do See, like right here, like how am I supposed to, does this go above the ear? But then even still, like, I don't get that guys, I really don't, but we can only do what we can do, I guess. Because I'm right-handed, I'm struggling right now, so I'm just going to do it like that and cut 
cut it. Okay, now let's just do this little section. And for that little section, I'm going to take it off because I'm struggling. And I'm basically just cutting above where I see um, the knots. And I did not go in a zigzag motion like I didn't. Y'all saw it. But it still looks a little jagged, so I guess that's a good thing. Let's just push this back. I'm going to cut off that other side of the ear tab. Pull this down a bit. And now I'm going to reinstall her. Okay. Put some baby hairs. Let's put some baby hairs in it. Where's my tail comb? So we're going to put some baby hairs in here and see what that does for us. little piece i don't know if y'all can see the little piece of lace like it does blend really well with my skin I tell y'all this lash right here oh So I'm going to take this off. It's been about 10 minutes, so. I think I'm good to go. What y'all think? Like I can get real-time feedback. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay. 
So I don't want it to be super oily, right? But I my um heat protectant is the cream of nature argon oil heat protectant smooth and shine polish. I'm just gonna take like a dime sized amount of that. Hope you can see. And I'm just going to distribute that all through the hair. All right, so here I am, and here's the finished look, guys. Again, this is the um, Love Me Glueless 180 Density 16-inch straight wig that I curled with the curling iron that I got as a free gift. At the end of the day, Love Me, like, the hair is soft. I don't know why this is sticking up and it won't. I have, like... Um, the hair is soft. <laughs> Sorry. The hair is soft. It's beautiful. I did experience shedding um, as I was curling this hair, which I don't know. I don't know if that's to be expected, but my other um, Love Me wig didn't shed as much. So I put some curls in it. This is, again, glueless, so tonight I will be taking this off. But at the end of the day, like, I'm happy with the wig. I like it. It wasn't too expensive. So the pros for this wig, it's soft. It's inexpensive. It definitely holds a curl. Um, the parting space isn't too bad in it, and it's, it's beautiful hair. The cons, the way the lace is, um, constructed on this wig, like, there's no spot for ear tabs. The elastic band is basically right in the way of where the ear tabs would be, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, oh, I'm sorry, one more pro, it is glueless. Um, you could lay this down if you wanted to, but... Because it's glueless and the way that cap is, that band is, it's really difficult, to, I think, to try and um, glue this down. Because that band is, like, right here. I would have a problem doing it. That's your choice, whether you want to or not. And they're shedding. So, that is pretty much it. I am going to end this now because I am way late to go food shopping because y'all know that's all I do. And... Yeah, I need to go food shopping because I do have to work later. I hope everybody is safe. Being safe out there, still wear your mask. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my videos. Um, and until next time, stay safe. Bye.